please click like and subscribe and that little notification bell for the next episode. These are one of the old ones. That's right off 66, actually north of 66, the Alford Mi Albert Mine. It's up in the Providence uh, Hills there. This first desert trip, that's not true. It's maybe the first trip we took with that Jeep. It's a 46 Willys. Here's uh, Ludlow when the town was still standing, okay? Those buildings are all laying down now. Are they? Every last one of them. There's not one standing. Yeah, well, this is on the south side of the railroad tracks. This is one of my dad's photos, one of his trips. And he was a bottle collector. He'd dig them up. That's his uh, find of the day, I guess. This is only about an hour from here. It looks like you hit the mother load there. Yeah, yeah, that's nothing. And we didn't have any fancy equipment. He just made a lean-to out of sleeping bags. And that's where we'd spend the night, or how we would do it. It was rough. That's me. Yeah, in the shade. And I'm going to tell you, it's hotter than hell out there. I know it is. There's Amboy. That's before the BLM went in there and put signs everywhere. That's the Amboy crater you're talking yes. about? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's uh, probably one of the last photos you'll ever see of what used to be in Baghdad. All this there is a tree. It might be this one right here. And it stayed that, and then this all got carted off. If you go across the tracks on the other side, you can mm -hmm. find a cemetery. Here's the uh, Baghdad I was telling you about, the cemetery. That, was a, that picture there is at least 50 years old. Those things may be gone. This is a dugout. Miners built it. They lived in it. And as you see, it's a pail turned upside down. Uh -huh. You could take a log that's four or five foot long uh -huh. and just keep pushing it in as it burns. See the two by oh, six? Oh, I see what you're saying. Oh, here's Siberia. There's nothing there. There's some concrete foundations there. That's out by Baghdad. In between Ludlow and Baghdad. But look closely. Over here in this corner, I found some bottles. Really interesting. Thanks for sharing all that. Sure. Bottle tree branch is a must see for a Route 66 fan. Be sure to seek out Elmer. He's a very friendly man. Our next stop is another ghost town room. And this is some old deserted ruins of a ghost town. Let's go explore. It's all fenced in like ghost towns are nowadays. Elmer explained the reason for these fences is that occasionally a tourist might take a piece of the room as a souvenir. We could not find what this place was, so we continued west on Route 66. We went past the 1923 Riverside Cement Plant to the 1901 Antique Station. Now check out this antique place. It's like uh, an antique mall. What's the name of this town? War Grand? It's the sound of kind of War Grand, and then War Grand is this unique antique shop. You can even get yourself a telephone booth here. Looking for an old manifold. There it is. An old trunk. Geez, you can even get yourself an old outhouse. You name it, I bet you can find it here on old Route 66. Our next stop heading west is a bridge that spans an underground river. This river actually flows inland towards a desert underneath the 1934 Mojave River Bridge. The Mojave River Bridge is just another steel truss bridge that is so popular on Route 66. There is a short shoulder where you can stop and take pictures. But be careful since cars travel very fast on their way to Victorville. Where Route 66 joins Route 15. In 1858, Victorville was known as Lane's Crossing. Victorville got its name in 1901. The iconic Summit Inn was opened in 1928. It was a Chevron station, then a Texaco station, and then a Shell station. The cafe is open for business selling hamburgers made out of ostrich and bison. All this was bypassed by Route 15 around 1969. We continued west onto Route 15, which is the new Route 66. The hills of Cajun Summit are breathtaking. But Route 15 offers no safe place to stop. Older Route 66 appears at exit 129. 
Well, we're on our way to San Bernardino and we're on some original roadbed of Route 66. We got three of them here. We've got this one, which is the first Route 66 roadbed. And we're gonna take that as far as we can. But then, where you get on, it's over there. And there's the other roadbed, the second alignment, Route 66. And then, there's the third alignment of Route 66. And it's the highway. And we're surrounded by the mountain San Bernardino. This is also the site of the St. Andreas Fault. 